Hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. You're welcome back to my channel. This is Letters to the Singles and Married Forum in the Health segment. So today I brought something very important and vital to the table. You know, something I've been going on since February 10th. The Lagos Commissioner for Health just told everybody in his speech the other day that there is nothing anybody can do about it for now. There is no cure, that even the vaccinations are not ready. But there is something we must do, he said. That to boost our immune system, to keep it strong and healthy. Today, I discovered something. I didn't just disco discover it any anyway, but I brought it to your table because I love sharing. So, um, so many people have asked me, we don't really know who you are, whatever. That is a story for another day. I'm gonna, let's get back to why we are here. This is the herb, the vegetable, the plants, whichever name you want to call it. I think I'm fine with that. This is how it looks like. If you go to the Igbo people, hey, my people, Igbo Kweno. So, this is how it looks like. We have the matured leaves, all right, that looks like this. Why the young plants that are still coming up, which has the color of, let's say, reddish green at the tip of the stalk of the leaf. So, if you see this leaf, most especially anywhere, you may just, you know, walk past it as a common leaf. But it is not common. It is a great immune boost and today I'm going to be telling you how you can use this to achieve building your immune system. So just stay glued to the, all you need to do is to stay glued, keep watching to the end so that you'll be able to see the result you will get from this leaf. Now, before I, you know, get the leaf, the already boiled one, all you need to do is just to boil and drink like tea. Before I get here, I show you the result we're going to get, I'm going to like, you know, let you into a little bit history about this leaf. This leaf was first discovered in South Africa and it's commonly called the Cape Fing. Okay, I got that. Please don't mind my grammar. Cape Fing or the broom cluster. Okay, that is how it was commonly called. But the scientific name is Ficus Shaw. So I'm telling you all this so that you can make your own research about this leaf and see what I am telling you. Now, the Igbo people call it Akbar. If you go to the Eboyans, hey Eboyan if you go to them and ask them, please, you are looking for Akokwakoro, they will show it to you. It is a very common leaf. Even we, the O42 members, are, we know this leaf very well, especially where I came from. We understand perfectly what this leaf is. Now, I made my own research and I find out that this leaf, after some research that have been made by some Nigerian scientists, not but Nigerian scientists, they find out that this leaf contains a percentage amount of flavonoid, which is like, you know, 8.1 percent. This leaf you're seeing here have that flavonoid. That even most of the fruit you eat, your carrot, your gab, do not even have close percentage for this particular leaf. Flavonoid is that particular, you know, chemical substance. All right, natural chemical substance in a plant that gives it its normal scent and color. Are you getting it? And this is what brings out when you take those fruits, they bring out that shiny color in you. They bring your color, they make your color to shine, to glow. Look at me. Look at my skin. There is no makeup on this skin you're looking at this morning. Huh? That is the work of what? Akbar. Are you getting it now? I'm not saying it's all Akbaru, but I take this tea most of the time to build my immune system. Above all, when you take it whole, it is very, very what recommendable for, you know, the COVID-19, you know, era we are right now to always go on a hot substance, which is very, very good for you. I'm going to be showing you from this video how you're going to be doing what to be taking this tea. It is very, very good. In fact, after taking this key, you will this particular tea, sorry, you are going to forgo your normal sugar coated sweetened tea and go for this. Okay, I'll be right back. Just some few minutes. Good morning. Okay, let me fix my camera so that you can see what we are doing here. All right. Now, just this morning. All right, I boiled this. I can, I can use my hand because it's my tea and not yours. I boiled this few leaves. This is how it looks like by the time you've boiled. You can see that it's still very hot. 
all right it's a bit warm not that very hot that is why i'm able to put my hand now you have to boil this for like um 45 minutes 40 to 45 minutes by the time you boil it allow it to sit i repeat you must allow it to sit for like three hours all right in order to get those you know those substances that could help your body to glow and protect you and immune you against any kind of what disease and after that what you get this is the result you get this is the result you get wow look at god i mean jamie you know guys let's continue the video you know sorry about that there are several ways that this drink all right this tea can be taken as you can see it is just all natural full of flavonoids vitamin antioxidants and the rest of them all you need to do is to sip. oh my god oh my god this is heaven mm -hmm. Right now, I mean, I feel good right now. And the other method is to do what? Is to add some milk to it. Add some milk to give you a twist. Okay, I'll be right back. Let me get it in for milk to do this. To do this, I'm going to be reducing the quantity of the tea. I use the glass cup for a hot drink because I want you to see everything I'm going to be pouring out. Okay, I'll be right. Your girl is doing this with you. I love sharing. Watch to the end, please. I want you to watch the video to the end so that you get all the benefits on how to do about this video. I'm going to be, you know, if you go on Facebook, oh, sorry guys, I did that. I'm going to snap the picture of this leaf, all right, and post it on my page. So that you'll be able to view it very well. Commonly known as a leaf by the Igbos. Alright, by the Igbo people. And it is commonly known as, you know, the blood leaf in English. Akboro, the blood leaf. There are so many blood leaves, but this specific species, this species is a great one. Now, look at this cuisine. I want to see the magic that will be happening here. Oh my God. Oh my God, just a little milk is enough. Now, so we see your cuisine. Ah, hmm, a natural cuisine. Hmm, <laughs> I mean, I am not a doctor, but I believe that if you take this with your family every morning in this. COVID-19 season that you know the world is trying to deal with you will neither catch it nor experience headache even because you see this cruising <laughs> oh my god this is heaven on earth mm. 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 I think I'm going to be using the one that is left in the tea kettle, okay? For my kids, I know the quantity to give them. Please use this with your family and you thank me later, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye. Bye.